Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, and the author of this book called Toxic Health. I'm going to talk about something that is in this book, and it is anti-static straps. Now these straps are widely used in industry, particularly in the electronics industry, and you also find anti-static devices in the medical industry, particularly in operating theatres. And we're going to look into what happens to the human body voltage when you use one of these anti-static devices. And to do that we have this oscilloscope and we also have our AC main system. And we're going to be using the grounding pin, which is this pin right here, to ground this tip into to ground the body. So the first thing we're going to look at is the voltage that's currently on my body. Now, I am actually sitting on a wooden stool right now, and I am electrically insulated from the tile floor below. The oscilloscope is connected to a non-electrified ground probe that is in my garden, far away from the electrical system ground rods. And the tip of the probe is not reading anything right now. And uh, right now I'm going to actually connect my body in and we can see the body voltage. So there's the body voltage right there. And some of this frequency is coming off the oscilloscope, so particularly the high frequency noise is actually originating out of the oscilloscope. But the actual sine wave is actually coming from the power strip. And if we come into contact with the power strip, we can see that it gets very high. So it's a 60 hertz sine wave. And with electronic noise from the oscilloscope. So that's how my body voltage is when I'm just sitting around doing nothing near to electronic equipment. And something to be aware of is that electronic equipment such as this oscilloscope will actually put frequencies onto your body. And the same with electrical cables. If you come into close proximity to electrical cables, then the voltage on your body is going to increase. And something to be aware of is, before electricity turned up, you wouldn't have seen these frequencies on your body. It would have just been flat. There would have been no electrical noise other than what your body generates. So all this stuff is new. So let's get on with our anti-static strap and see what happens. So right now, I'm still electrically insulated. I'm now going to put this pin into the ground socket on the strip. So that's what my body voltage changes to. So as you can see, there's quite a high voltage on the grounding connection and that wasn't there before I plugged into it. It's kind of crazy. Let's just see exactly how tall that is. So right now we're actually set on uh, 200 millivolts per division. And we have almost five divisions. So that's a volt peak-to-peak -peak right now that we have on the body when we're connected in to the grounding strip. And I have bare feet right now. I'm going to put one onto the tile floor and see what happens. So actually coming into contact with the tile floor actually brought the voltage down slightly. And I'm going to put my other foot onto the tile floor and see what happens. And there's another very slight reduction but the overriding voltage that's on my body right now is actually coming out of the grounding connection on this power strip. And that's because my home has a stray voltage problem. And I've reported it to the utility and uh, they said they're not going to fix it. So uh, I'm a little bit concerned about that right now. So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to disconnect out of this. So that's my body voltage right now. And you can see that it's the 60 hertz sine wave with a little bit of electronic noise in there. And as you can see, I'm not actually plugged in to the grounding strip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my bare foot onto the floor. So that's what the sine wave looks like when my foot is on the floor. There you go. And what I'm going to do is put my second foot on the floor and we can see what happens. So that's what my 
body voltage looks like when I have two feet on my tile floor. And that's 60 hertz. That's actually uh, coming voltage coming out of my flooring into my body. And the reason why that's happening is we're only about 20 to 30 feet away from where my electrical ground rods are. So one of the important concepts that I would like to go over to you is that electrical ground rods in the wrong situation actually electrify the ground. And not only do they electrify the ground where the ground rods are installed, that voltage that they put into the ground can extend possibly hundreds of feet from the ground rods. So it's something to be aware of if you like to walk around in bare feet. You should become aware of where your electrical equipment is that is connected into the ground and uh, possibly stay away from it, particularly if you don't know whether the ground is electrified or not. And uh, if the ground is electrified, as this particular ground is that I'm in contact with right now, you may actually get quite ill, and it's called stray voltage. So if you Google stray voltage, you can read all about this, and Toxic Health actually discusses it in detail and the problems it can cause in the human body. And uh, I would be concerned if you have this in your home, as I do, I would recommend that you take precautions around it. And one of the precautions you can do is make sure that you've always got your shoes on when you're in the house. Because once you put your shoes on, I'm going to lift my feet up. You can see what happens to the weight for. So I've just took one foot off the ground. I'm going to take my second foot off the ground. There we go. So you can see that by being out of contact with the flooring, and I have large tiles on my floor, uh, it actually makes a significant difference. So this is uh, something to be aware of. And if you want to get rid of the sine wave, you know, as you can see, it comes from electrical systems. So you should just be sure that you don't have a lot of electrical systems around you, and you should possibly consider switching off some of your circuits, particularly the ones in the bedroom, if you don't want this effect to be on your body. And I currently recommend people to actually not have the bedroom circuits switched on, purely so that you know that your body is getting an eight hour break from all this radiation that is coming out of these electrical and electronic systems. So there you have it, that was the purpose of this demonstration. Anti-static straps do indeed electrify the body. And also, you know, if you're using anti-static boots, or you're actually just walking around barefoot on flooring, that can also electrify the body. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.